Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Friends, you all are welcome to my channel, Arabic Made Easy for All. Today, with a new concept of Arabic language, I am with you. Today's topic is Shadda. We know Shadda by the name of Tashdeed also. It is called Tashdeed also. Shadda looks like this. Friends, Shadda, you can see like W, it looks like this and it is used on a letter to read it two times. The work of this, this symbol is actually to read the same letter two times. And instead of writing the same letter two times, this Shadda letter is read once combined with the, with the previous letter's vowel and once with its own vowel for example, it is coming next. So the actual work of this Shadda is to read the Shadda letter two times. Instead of writing the same letter two times in Arabic, we use Shadda. When it is Shadda, that means we must read that letter two times. For example, you can see this word Madda. I have written here Madda. So the dal sound is coming two times. Dal sound here, it is coming two times. So instead of writing dal two times as it is here, dal and dal, it is written dal one time and then put the shadda on top of it with its vowel. Whichever, whichever vowel you want, you can put there and it will give the sound to according to that vowel only. But the shadda, shadda should be put on the letter which you want to pronounce two times. So this this word is read like madda, madda. Dal sound is coming two times. The sound of letter dal is coming two times. So instead of writing dal two times, just shadda is placed on it. You can see here, the shadda is placed on it. To read it once with its previous letter means vowel. That means this one. Previous letter is Mim and its vowel is this one, Fatha. Mim's vowel is Fatha. So once its sound should be combined with the previous letter Mim and that also according to the sound of Fatha. And once, then that means the second sound should come with the vowel of its own. That is this one. That is also Fatha as you can see. So it this word's sound will be madda, madda. Let us see some more examples. I have prepared a reading sheet to practice reading words with Shadda. I will read all this. You can also practice reading the same thing. First is dalla, dalla, halla, halla, tallun. Here you can see both are having fatha, so it is dalla, halla, halla, tallun. Here double dhamma, so I read it tallun. Masun, here double dhamma, so it is masun, masun. Surratun, 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 gurratun, gurratun, gurratun. Murrun, murrun, so ra sound is coming two times. And this is also dhamma, here also dhamma, here also dhamma. Karrara, karrara. See this sound is coming two times. Kar, ra, ra. Kar, ra, ra. Mokadasun, mokadasun. Mokadasun. See that sound is coming two times. Mokadarun, mokadarun, mokadarun. That sound is coming two times. Mokadarun. Again this ra sound is coming two times. Mokadarun, mokadarun. Ra run. Mokarran. Mokarran. This is ko and this is kar. Mokarran. Mokarran. Mudarrisun. Mudarrisun. This ra sound is coming two times. Mu dar dar ri ri sun. See this shabda letter here. It is with kasra. It is kasra. Okay, so it is mudab mudarri sun. Mudabirun. Here also kasra. Mu dab bi. Run, Let us see one, uh, some more. 
شبه 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 حصل 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 كذاب سيه كذاب here this is long vowels alif long vowels alif there is no sukun here there must be sukun but in Arabic on alif we don't write sukun because it is understood when there is no vowel here that means it is having sukun only so the sound should be little long kazabun kazabun hurrimat hurrimat nuzila 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 taqabbala 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 ussisa ussisa so how to read you can see here ussi the sound the sound of sim is coming once with alif ussi sa you badilu you badilu you badilu you ajilu you ajilu you fasilu you fasilu fuzia 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 muharramun 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 uttilat 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 mufakkirun 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 ayyana ayyana i'm i'm just prolonging the sound of ya after the ya because here also one alif that is long vowel ayyana ayyana thank you friends i hope that you have understood this concept and you will practice reading more words with shadda your own by seeing some books or reading some sentences please subscribe my channel and give your comments if you have any any doubts or anything thank you very much